Greetings citizens of Australia. We are anonymous. In Australia we are saturated with US media. And we've heard a lot of American ideas like the freedom of speech. We sometimes hear our fellow Australians speak about their right to free speech. But like the Hollywood dreams we've watched since childhood, this is a fallacy. Australians do not have the right to freedom of speech. We have never had it. The Australian Constitution does not have any express provision relating to freedom of speech. There is no list of personal rights or freedoms which may be enforced in the courts. Moves have been made towards the adoption of a Bill of Rights for Australia. Predictably however our government that is stalling. On the 10th of December 2008 the RA government announced a nationwide consultation to examine the protection and promotion of human rights and responsibilities in Australia. So the National Human Rights Consultation Committee was appointed. On the 8th of October 2009 the Commonwealth Attorney General released the committee's highly anticipated report. After widespread public engagement, the committee found overwhelming community support for a Human Rights Act. The Australian government said it would respond to the report by the end of 2009. That was two years ago. Amnesty International says in regard to Australia. In recent times we have seen how human rights are vulnerable to being undermined by government policies, such as mandatory detention of asylum seekers and the sedition laws passed as part of our anti-terror legislation. There is also the potential for free speech on the internet, or in any other forum to be censored without legal protection of our right to free speech. We are left relying on the government to protect our basic human rights, and we have no legal avenue to challenge them if they are abused. While it is marginalized communities whose human rights are most at risk of being violated, human rights of all people are in truth always at risk of being violated if not protected. Australia is now the only liberal democracy in the world without overarching human rights protection. Even though Australia has signed all five international treaties that make up the International Bill of Human Rights, none of these treaties are legally binding in Australia. Despite it being 110 years since Federation each Australian generation has plotted on, seemingly neither knowing nor caring that we do not have a Bill of Rights in this country. We, the Australian people, have let successive governments dictate to us for generations, and to impose upon us their vile and discriminatory policies, like the White Australia policy. The policies that caused the stolen generations, conscription, and imprisoning asylum seekers and detention centers. If we are to learn anything from our political history, let us not forget the GST, and how the now defunct Democrat Party sold us out, and instead of keeping the bastards honest, they sided with the Howard government, and now we are stuck the GST, and inflated grocery prices. Our politicians make false promises, and break elections promises with disturbing regularity. Australia, we must stand up as one against our government, that has proven to us decade after decade that it is untrustworthy. Our politicians earn more than those in the UK or USA. Australians all, let us unite, let us unite, and demand our human rights, now. The people of Australia, demand the government to adopt an Australian Bill of Rights, immediately and without delay. We invite you all, to join us, in this fight for our basic rights, to the Australian government. Anonymous has this message. We have not forgotten the last federal election, when we, the Australian voters, decided we didn't much like either major party, and so we voted for neither, resulting in a hung parliament, that, should have been a loud warning to you. Give us, the Australian people, the rights that are so long overdue to us. We do not ask, we demand. We are anonymous. We are legion. For every one of us who falls, ten more will take their place. We do not forgive, we do not forget. To the Australian government, you should have expected us.